This video explains how to configure the scan pattern of the Blickfeld cube in the web GUI. Select Configuration in the web GUI's navigation bar. In this tab, you can configure the scan pattern and the network. By default, you are on the Scan Pattern Configuration tab. Choose from any of the pre-configured scan patterns in the drop-down menu. You can now compare the active with the selected scan pattern. Click on Apply to change the pattern. If none of the pre-configured scan patterns fit your application, click on Edit to adjust the parameters as required. Restore the last configuration, delete the configuration, or create a new configuration with the buttons on the right. Enter a name for the scan pattern you are about to configure. The field of view describes the angular space in which the beam is deflected. It specifies the cone in front of the LiDAR system you can monitor. Choose the horizontal field of view in degrees to change the laser pulse angles in the horizontal axis. Set the vertical field of view in degrees to change the laser pulse angles in the vertical axis. The number of scan lines can be configured. A higher number of scan lines results in a more high-resolution point cloud image while reducing the frame rate simultaneously. 200 scan lines at 2.5 Hz displays a picture-like resolution with a slower frame rate. Setting, for example, 30 scan lines at 9.4 Hz shows a less dense point cloud with a higher frame rate. Choose the angle spacing between individual points, which defines the spacing between single points in a scan line. The frame mode describes during which phase the laser pulses are sent out. You can choose between only up, only down, a combination of both, or pulse during both phases, but provide each as a separate frame. Next, choose the type. The setting Equidistant Horizontal describes pulsing at the same horizontal angle for every scan line, resulting in parallel vertical lines as a pulse pattern. The Interleave mode switches between pulsing one line Equidistant Horizontal and for the second line, shift the angle spacing so that every point is between two points of the first line when looking at it horizontally, resulting in a vertical zigzag pulse pattern. A pulse can be reflected by more than one object if they are aligned at a close to similar axis and the pulse only partially hits the closer object. This is especially the case for objects that are farther away from the sensor since the laser beam diverges with distance. The detection of these reflections is called multiple return. The maximum number of returns can be defined. This setting helps you see through semi-transparent or past partly occluded objects like plants. The noise filter is based on the ambient light level of each point. The parameters can be set with each scan pattern. When you are done with the configuration, you can either save it for later use or click on Save and Set to apply the scan pattern with your chosen parameters to the device and record the next point cloud with this scan pattern.